Okay, this is part two for the restoration of this bay window. Uh, I have sanded it. I'm ready to put the epoxy on. Uh, this had previously been treated. These were the holes that I originally dug and put in the borate rods. That was about 20 years ago. This whole section here actually seems fairly well preserved, but I notice on the two this side over here in particular has failed. That needs to be now repatched. I undercut this um, casing and I also just undercut very briefly just with a hacksaw blade on the other side because that looked actually okay right at that spot. At that spot I undercut it a little bit more because it looked to be a little bit more damaged there and I wanted to get underneath it. Um, I've dried it out as best I could. We have had some rain. You can actually see here two previous repairs. Uh, that darker color was a repair using the Minwax product. This w w lighter, whiter color is a repair using the Abitron product. Okay. Um, what has happened was, is originally I had done a repair with the Minwax product. And then I was in the process of painting the side of the house. And I went on and started, um, after just passing it, but before painting this window, so I went on and I started um, the rest of this side of the house, um, sanding it and getting it ready for painting. I was going to paint it all at the same time. But in the intervening months, um, the water, remaining water damage on this windowsill, when I came back to I was going to paint it, I realized that it continued to rot. Once, I, once you sand it down, you can't really leave it exposed. You've got to paint it after you patch it. Okay. And we have been getting a lot of rain recently, so I have to keep it covered. Look at how bad that section is. But that I'm going to try to put the epoxy in completely. I drilled three new holes on the sill top for the borate rods. I'm down to just five more borate rods, so I'm using the liquid bore care product to just pour into these sections. I'm going to try patching it all. I hit pause and I'll try applying the epoxy. Okay. Okay, I have applied the liquid epoxy. Uh, it's prime. Now I'm going to mix up the solid um, wood epox and I will fill these holes. Okay, well, I'm finishing under moonlight, uh, but I got the epoxy on. Uh, I never do get a very smooth job, but I tried to put it on a little heavy because I can always, the epoxy, when it's, when it's dried, when it's all dried, it's easy to sand. And so when it's, when you don't have enough of it on, it, you can't sand it flat, but if it's a little bit bulky, usually that helps you sand it down to a flat surface. It's, it's nice, of course, if it's nice and flat to begin with, but I can never get that. And um, I think this is going to be good enough. Once I sand it, it'll be flatter, and then I don't think you can notice it at all once it's painted. So, anyway, that's the deal for this installment. It looks like that uh, particular spot where it was a big, big opening, I, I kind of... I bulk, I really bulked it up on that a little bit. So if that's all solid, I, I think I can sand that. See, it's a little bit high and a little bit high. So I think I can sand that so it, so it looks contiguous. Okay, that's it for this installment.